everyone. Today, we're gonna be looking at the fairy tree. So a couple weeks ago, we made a video all about the trees. Largest tree, tallest tree, and oldest tree. Today, we're not gonna be sharing fun facts or seeing about the world known trees. We're gonna be looking at a magical tree, which is called the fairy tree. Now, little backstory here. This is the route that we used to take to preschool, to my preschool. Not, I don't know the route to your preschool. That is, that is private. So, <laughs> so we used to come here and every once in a while we would um, put a little like bunny. You might have seen me put one of those in one of my sensory videos. Go and check that one out. Check the tree video and the sensory video out. We try to look for them earlier, but they seem to be gone. 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 As time went on, the neighborhood kids put kept putting on little um, mysterious things. Some of them are actually a little bit weird. Anyways, today we're going to be contributing this. I bet you are. Are and so wanting to see the magical tree. Here it is. It's very magical. And there's, um, it's so magical that it even has a face. How many um, Tinkerbell characters can you see? This is a Tinkerbell character. That's a Tinkerbell character. And that's a Tinkerbell character. Oh, there's a little door here. You can't open it, it's locked. Knock, knock. I wonder if this opens. I don't think it does. <gasps> Whoa, it's all the little Tinkerbell characters. So Tinkerbell's up here. Um, and all the other characters are really cool. Pretty cool that it opens. Um, is someone in the shower in here? Up the ladder. Oh, yeah. And then there's someone the stairs. I'll use my little girl. Um, what? Uh, are you? Go okay. Okay, let's just save him. Why are her arms like straight out? <laughs> I think, I think that this was like meant to be like bendy toy. Go across, sorry. Go across the way. Through here. That little door and then this one. Knock, knock. Who's there? If I remember correctly, you can open that door. Yep. Okay, let's open the door. Um. Is that sleep? I think that's sleepy. Guys, I'm pretty sure that you can open this one because I can kind of see inside of it. Whoa. Tinkerbell. Oh, shoot. Tinkerbell. Tinkerbell. No. No. I might give her a cleaner place to live. Well, that's pretty cool inside. Let's give her a cleaner place where she's not just like in dirt. Let's go and find her a place. I put her right there so that um, she wouldn't be all dusty. Just showing off. This is probably where the tree, where in like the Tinkerbell one, she actually lives. Cause like, did she like, if she moved here, good move. I think that this is the baby of Tinkerbell. Like look how small she is. It's a little silhouette of a fairy. Cool. Now we need to determine where we're gonna put our little guy. What if I put my little guy um, right here? On the golden bench, right there. She looks so cool. Guys, look, I found a little crystal. Look. That's cool. Found it in there, so I better put it back. Let's just pull it. Make sure it opens. Wow, that's cool. That's really 
cool. I don't know what character that is, but that's really cool. Back. I don't know that gnome. I don't know that gnome at all. I actually met the girl who made this tree possible. We had a little chit chat and she said that she did something that all the neighborhood kids could look at. Do you see that? That's shop. Do you guys want to draw something? Let's go. And that's a unicorn for you. I hope that you guys liked this video where I watched all around this magical tree and even placed my own figurine. I hope that this video inspired you to make your own magical tree. It doesn't even have to be a tree. It could be a tree, it could be a rock, it could be anything around your neighborhood that is big and there's tons of creativity that you can put in it. Before we go, I'm just gonna tell you that we're gonna take a three week holiday break. So I hope that you guys have a happy holidays and new year. I'll see you next year.